Okay, so look what we just found here at Woodhill Firewood. Tell us your name. Carrie Temple. Carrie Temple, and he makes these fantastic little carvings. Oh my gosh. Out of avocado seed. Out of avocado seed. There's that guy also. So tell us the first time, how did you start this? I saw my dad doing it when I was a little boy. He set it aside and it, and it dried, naturally dried, and always fascinated me. And he passed away last July, oh. and he still had the carving in the little shelf in his top drawer. Yeah. That uh, I couldn't reach when I was right. little, but it was there. And uh, anyway, then I restarted carving uh, about night, early 80s. I was okay. working as a driver bodyguard after retiring from the police department for a big grocery company. And it was very boring. Hurry up and wait was the task. You know, the time. And in the cafeteria one day, they had a couple of avocado seeds in the guacamole. And I said, can I have one of them? So she gave it to me and I started carving. And Which is the knife you had with you? Actually, I don't have it with me now, but the knife that's carved the majority on these is just a little MacGyver knife, Swiss Army knife. The small blade. Oh my gosh. This is a Boy Scout knife. Yeah. That was just a loose blade, and I've sharpened it so many times over the years, it's very thin. Yeah. But that's when I started carving. So, what did you carve there in the cafeteria? Oh, I started with faces and learned that the seed splits in half okay. when it dries. You can actually get two carvings out of each seed. But my first face I carved it was across the natural split, and when it dried, it broke. In oh half. no. <laughs> and anyway, as time progressed, I just started carving, improving the carving learning how to work with their avocado seeds and uh, it just in my mind they got better and better in other people's minds too i started selling them 20 30 bucks started putting magnets on them perfect I started putting little pedestals on them, the more intricate ones like this wharf seed this is about a 10 or a 15 hour carving oh my gosh like all the little shingles and stuff yeah. shingles are done with an exacto knife and then you just let it dry and this is, uh, I've sprayed this with like a verithane, satin verithane. That's the finish on it. But I was fortunate enough to win first prize at the Avocado Festival in Carpinteria one year. They put me on TV up there. That's so cool. I've tried to market them, <clears throat> but I'm not good at marketing. I'm not into computers, so I yeah. do the eBay thing. We have to get you an Etsy site. Do you know what Etsy is? I certainly do not. It's like a handcrafted website where you can sell different... Um, handcrafted stuff. I'll help you set one up if you want. <laughs> okay. But I have scores and scores of uh, avocado seeds yeah. carved at home, dried in a box here, a box there. My favorite are all in a special box. What's the special box? It's a, it's a cigar box. Okay. It's just got the finished carving that I really like. Yeah. I've got a shadow box in my living room that has some of my favorites. Yeah. Do you ever do carvings of specific people? I have tried that. In fact, Calavo Avocado contacted me verbally to, yeah. to carve half a dozen or so of their employees, and I got pulled away from it, and I got as close as I could, <laughs> yeah. I don't think they were impressed. Do you feel like the seeds speak to you and tell you what their faces need to look like? Interesting question. When I, first thing you do is you clean the avocado. First of all, you don't chop it with a knife. Okay. You twist it to get it out of the avocado. I see that on a commercial. Yeah. Not a commercial. That's how I always do it. How do you do it? Basically limits. Totally. You do with the seed. Take the avocado seed out of the avocado and you peel the brown skin off, but there's another shiny skin. You, you pop it in half and you have to remove that little shiny skin. And when it starts turning orange, it's oxidizing. When it's all clear and there's no that, none of that shiny skin, that's when you start carving. Okay. But I, before I do any of that, I pop it in half and remove the brown skin and I just stare at it. There's a flat surface in the back and it's round towards you. Then eventually, I know what this is going to be. I see it. You can see the, the little squiggly line. Yeah. You can see what's, the, what's there. That's so cool. Carving. You just remove the, what uh, part of the seed is not necessary for the carving. Right. And if you get tired and you want to take a break, I discovered, I used to finish them in one day. Uh -huh. start oxidizing. And the consistency was different the next day. But I found you could put them in like a little cup of water. They'll last. You can carve on it for a week. Just keep putting it back on the wall. Crazy. But I recommend people experiment. They I'm totally going to go home and play with it tonight. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I've actually, to my chagrin, went to the store to buy avocados, take the seed out and throw the avocado away. 
I like a little guacamole, but I'm not a big avocado. <laughs> I've actually thrown avocados away. Oh my goodness, that is so funny. I love it. I well, I thank you so much. Oh, you are very welcome. I'm going to give you a little close-up on the guy with the squiggly eyes. Cause I, look at this guy's Should eyes. Should we wiggle him? Yeah. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find down here at Wendell Firewood. If we find out where these guys are being sold, we're going to let you all know. All right. Thank you.